What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm here with my buddy Christian and he just purchased this jumping jack trailer. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to give you guys a little tour slash walk around of what this thing looks like. It's pretty interesting. So let's take a look inside and have him explain a couple things. So just for reference, me and him are both over six feet tall. So there's a probably good, what, six, 10? Easy. Six feet, 10 inches of headroom in here. Mm -hmm. um, probably closer to maybe seven here in the, in the center. So talk about the beds here. We've got two twin size beds, right? Yep. So these chairs that make up the table can come apart and go into these slots on either side and turn either of these beds into two full beds, right? Yep. And then the table here, how does this work? So the table, there's a little latch right here. Pop that up. That's how it goes down. Okay. Easy enough. And then how does it go back up? So the tent itself is actually made of a thick canvas. Uh, so it stays fairly warm in here. Uh, over underneath the table here, it actually has a port to uh, input a propane heater. And as you can see here all the way around, uh, it's got windows that have uh, screen mesh in them. And you can uh, easily just zip any of these windows up and down. So there's one door to get in and out of the, the tent. Uh, he's got it rolled up here, but there's no screen or anything here uh, like there is on the windows, unfortunately. So last night we set this up just as it was getting dark um, and it only took us maybe what, 10 or 15 minutes to set up. Easy. Uh, very easy to, to pop up, uh, very similar to that of a, a rooftop tent um, by the time you get all your bedding and stuff into that rooftop tent. But, uh, very similar in time. So I got a extra awning, small awning, and I also got a an accessory holder. I don't have accessories yet for it, but it's gonna so be. what what kind of accessories can you get for something like this? Uh, you can get like a sink, you can get a cooler holder, uh, you can get a propane rack holder. And all of those attached to the back, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. and another uh, accessory you can be added is a storage hutch. It will be on the outside and it goes underneath the beds and you can add storage. So there's, I don't know, probably what a dozen different accessories that you can get for this. All sorts of different things, water, propane, uh, a couple of the things that he mentioned. So if I just bought the trailer itself without any accessories, what all would come with it? So you wouldn't get carpet. And the extra add-on for the bed wouldn't come with it. So is that f all four of these add-ons or just two of them? Uh, two of them. So it comes with just two seats for the table, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's head outside and see what the exterior of this thing looks like. Sweet. With every jumping jack trailer, it comes with a stool. And this is kind of nice to have a little step instead of stepping straight into the camper. You can put stuff on there. Uh, back here is also where the awning will go. It comes off of this top bar here, and you can get uh, two different awnings, right? You can get a smaller one. Or a large awning. I got a smaller awning, and we'll put that up and see how it looks. Utility hutch, and it just straps onto the, the, the bed and you can put a storage underneath to keep stuff dry. And then you have to take that off every time though. You can't fold it in when yep. you put you, the you panel You fold it every time and put it in before you close it up. So one accessory that he was talking about is this table. Uh, the top of this table comes with the trailer stock as it is used in the utility part of the trailer if you took the tent out. However, the legs 
do not come with it and you have to order those separately, right? Yes, sir. So Christian's gonna show us how to put this away, fold the tent in on itself, and then kind of the routine or process that it takes to get this ready to, to go down the road. So let's take a look at that. So you're packing up here. You're gonna leave the windows cracked? Yep, I'm just okay. checking the inside. All right. So, so I'm thinking next time I open it, it might be a little warmer. Yeah. How does the table and the chairs go down? So first I just, Probably want to just take these out of the way so you don't have to worry about them. So you gotta take them down anyways. And there's just a little lever you pop out, lift up, pull it in, and just put it down. So you're gonna lay the bed pads down first, right? Yep. Lay the bed pads down first. And the reason why you do this too is just you'd rather have the metal pieces hit this mm -hmm. than, go, than go through your canvas. Right. Then you grab the holes. Then you just do the same thing on the same side. So when you're putting it away, make sure you take this out too. First time I did setting up, I left it in there and I had to take it back apart. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So this is the lantern holder here. Uh, an accessory that you can get for it. It uh, attaches to the same pin holder that holds the back of the gate up. Uh, first thing you do, this is also something I did wrong, Open, do, setting it down. Mm -hmm. When you pull it out, there's this little bar, and you pop it out to, lock, to stop it. If you don't do that, what you're doing in the back, this will fall on you, and you won't be able to lift it up. <laughs> now you do this side, put it down really gently. Okay. So now we're gonna fold the sides in, right? Yes, sir. So, yep, just basically you're doing what you started doing when you set it up. That's what we did, yep. Take these off. Now, then you pull this in first. Do the same on the other side? Yep. Okay. And now you get these out a little bit. You pull this out. And this is the underside of the entire tent. Yep, just that just tucks back in before you fold the arm completely. Mm -hmm. And that flap right there that he's folding in actually covers the top of the um, tent liner of the trailer. Okay. And all that's left is to cover, up. cover it up. There we go. And the last step here is to fold these in on itself. Uh, up top here is where you can store four wheelers. I'm sure you can probably put coolers, whatever you need yep. on top of here to take. You can get accessories for kayaks. You can put on here for your kayaks, your bikes. Whatever, whatever you want. Shut the tailgate up. Oh. There she is. Well, 
these go back in the front, just make sure they come flapping down. So that's screwing directly into the trailer frame. And then the carabiner is going to attach to this grate and make sure that that crate doesn't fly open when you're going down the road. And then the last piece is this table that we were using. Slides right in here in the front. There you go. That's cool. it. And this is what it looks like all packed up, ready to go down the road. Well, thanks Christian for giving us a little tour of your new camper here. Stay tuned for uh, next week's video to check us out. And uh, we're, we put this thing to the test for an overnight camping trip. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you guys next week.